Tom Sears is the chairman of the CPS3 study. Correct. And Joe Martinello is heading up the Relay for Life. Correct. Yay. <laughs> All right. So we were talking a little bit about the event, the Relay for Life itself. I do want to talk about the three components of that. And then I'd like to talk to you, Tom, a little bit more about why you feel the study is so important and why you personally have gotten involved. Mm -hmm. And I'll also ask you, Joe, why, why do you take the time to do all of this? You're not going to do that on camera, are you? You're going to get us all emotional today. <laughs> well, you don't have to say uh, too much if no. you don't want to. But, I mean, honestly, we're very busy people yeah. these days. And, you know, a lot of us would like to get involved with things, but sometimes we don't do that. And I'm curious to see yeah. what really motivated you to get involved with this cause. So an athlete in town invited me to offer up a donation. And I attended my first relay because it, opposed to just offering up a donation, I wanted to participate. I felt I could raise more money if I reached out to my network of people. And I joined his team and I went to Relay in Burlington. And I remember walking the track during the Luminaria ceremony with my wife going, why don't we have this in Wilmington? This is perfect for our town. And I have a unique skill where I've been doing event management in some capacity in my professional life. And I felt I could take those skills, work with the community members, and bring the event to Wilmington. So I wanted to leverage the skills that I had to help. Excellent. And obviously cancer impacts many people's lives. It's impacted my family's life. Um, many of my, well, not many, extended family members have been impacted by it. We've lost some, some of my family members, and some are still battling it today. So if I can give back, I want to. Right, and as I was talking to Tom beforehand, getting involved with the study, you're not only helping other people who may have cancer or helping to fight cancer, you could theoretically be saving your own life mm -hmm. because the information you might provide could later on help to discover a cure for something you're going to get years later. Mm -hmm. I was also saying beforehand, my mom has been battling lung cancer, and the advances they have made in the last four years are incredible. So it's got to be from studies like this and from research and from the money that we're all raising, mm -hmm. that's got to be how it's going to get done, one person at a time. You really can make it happen. Sure. I'm chuckling a little because you're using some of the terminology I use with the participants. It's one dollar at a time, one person at a time, it all adds up. Right. And obviously your cause, when we look at the website, it tells us where the money goes. Can you speak a little bit to where some of that money is going to go that we do donate or that we get from the different things that we do for the event? Yeah, it goes into uh, services for patients, it goes into research. Um, it goes into various services locally that, that, that are offered up as well. So um, there's, the, there's a ride service where you can get a ride to your um, treatments. Um, they also have uh, the Hope Lodge is in Boston as well. So it's a location where families um, can go to if they, don't have, if they don't live in the area or near the major hospitals where they can stay. Right. So it's, it's great patient services like that and family services. So it's not just dealing with actually finding a cure, it's also no. dealing with surviving the battle. Because it the battle itself, I know from experiencing it with my mom, is it's quite lofty yeah. what you, you go through. And if anybody's experienced it, it can be a lot. And not just for the person that's sick. I think one of the things that I felt was a helplessness, a sense of, I want to be doing more, but what more could I do? And even with the relay, the study is amazing to go hand in hand with them mm -hmm. because you can do more. Right. You really can do more. Why did you personally, Tom, take time out of your busy life and you have a family like yeah. all of us and a job? Why did yeah. you really get involved with the study piece? Um, it was my way to, to give back. Uh, my daughter is a cancer survivor, and after watching her go through it, um, she fought a good fight and she won it. And this is my way of giving back. Excellent. You know, Excellent. it's like you said, it's um, in, in the big scheme of things, everything that she's gone through and anybody that's had cancer, what they go through, um, this is nothing of my time. This that's is, true. you know, I have time to spare compared right. to, to what And I certainly don't want to sound negative, but so many of us may be healthy today. Mm -hmm. And you just really don't know mm -hmm. when it's going to be you or yep. a neighbor or a friend or a relative or your child. You really don't know. So even though right now you might be healthy, and, and that's wonderful if you are, you don't know what's going to come up down the road. And that's why it behooves us to kind of get ahead of the curve if we can a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. And I do think all the advances that have been made are because of the kinds of things that you gentlemen and everyone behind you are doing. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about how people can get information about the study if they want to check it out and see if it's 
right for them? Is there a site that they can go to? I think it would be easiest if they went to the Wilmington uh, Relay site. There is a link there. I believe it's on the left-hand side of the page, okay. about three-quarters of the way down. That would, you can then link on to, or click onto that link, which brings you to the CPS3 uh, site. And any questions that you may have can be answered right okay. there on that site. Uh, do they have an idea of how many people they want for the study? Or is it going to yep. be our whole town? Yep. Or how is that going to work? Well, uh, AC American Cancer Society, their goal is 500,000 people nationwide. That includes our territories outside of the continental US. Okay. Um, right now, there's approximately 100,000 people uh, enrolled. Um, Wilmington's goal um, is 300. I'd like to see 300. Okay. Um, our goal, as you saw last year with Relay, right. um, look what we did to that. Right. Um, I can definitely see us doing more than more than 300 people in this Do study. Do we know demographically? It's a tough question, so I mm -hmm. understand if you're not prepared. Do we know demographically how many eligible people there are in Wilmington? If everybody that was between 30 and 60 would sign up, how much do you think that would be people-wise? Well, I'm going to... No, I don't have that answer, no. but it's right. going to be more than 300 people. Yeah, you know, uh, well, uh, I don't know to be honest with you because you don't have to be a Wilmington resident to attend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and you don't have to participate in the relay to attend either. Oh, okay. okay. So if you you live in Tuxbury and uh, I live in North Reading, I can come to uh, CPS three in Wilmington. Um, this really it, good. The, I really like that. Yeah, and I don't have to participate in yeah. Relay for Life Wilmington to the participate in the study. The reason I like that study. idea is because it makes the study site, if you will, that I'm mm -hmm. more broad. And mm -hmm. I would think the more information they can get from the more communities in this area, the better it would be. Mm -hmm. I think it would make the study more broad for them. Yeah, the neighboring towns around us are not hosting this, and this is. This is history in the, in the making for this town. It really is. You're not going to see this ever again in this town. It's only going to happen this year. And myself and Joe and you can tell our future generations, hey, I participated when CPS 4 comes out. Hey, I participated in CPS 3. You know, now it's a family affair. Now they get involved in CPS 4. You know, there's, there are, there is, um, history that shows that there's families out there that participate in CPS 2. And now they're participating in CPS 3. Those three generations of families that are that right. just keep it you going. Know, another point too is we don't know what other illnesses might be cured from this too, because there is information that could come from this study that could be used for many many things. And of course, we we want to mention again, your anonymity is protected, so mm -hmm. nobody has to worry about that. Yep. But there are other illnesses that have been cured from studies that weren't even related to the study they originally began. So right. the parameters for this are limitless. What yeah. can be done with the information is limitless. That's correct. When CPS two started in 1982. Um, in 1996, they found that secondhand smoking causes lung cancer. And they also found. Um, I could have told them that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> As a non smoker, I could have told you it was bad right, for you. Right, right. Um, and they also found that um, obesity um, and cancer were hand in hand um, through CPS2. So, um, and it was um, a direct result of CPS2 that. Um, the Surgeon General then said, we need to right. start putting warnings on cigarettes. Right, and that's what I was going to say. I mean, we're, we're joking about it, but really, that's how mm -hmm. policy, public policy is created, mm -hmm. through proof, because you know how resistant we are as a nation to make any kinds of changes. Right. So once you've got proof to back up these findings, then people start to sit up and take notice, which mm -hmm. is, I think, what you're really going for here. Mm -hmm. So you're really critically getting the word out. You want to tell as many people as you possibly Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, if, if we can prevent another type of cancer, you know, why not? Right. You know, I mean, if it's this simple, it really is. It's a half an hour at Relay and 45 minutes a year, every other year. It's so simple. Why not? You know? Right. I can't see why you wouldn't. I mean, you can, you know, do it while you're watching Wiz Wilmington. Sit down <laughs> yeah. with your pen and fill out your study. And yeah. I assume you mail it back to them. They must tell you where it goes. Yep, it's absolutely. It's user friendly yep. as far as that goes. Yep, absolutely. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Have you actually looked at the questions on the study? Yes, I did. What kinds of things are on there? Well, one of them I found interesting um, is uh, it asks, as a firefighter, it asks, how much alcohol intake do you, do you consume? Um, hmm. Do you smoke? Right. Do you exercise regularly? Um, what kind of a diet do you have? Um, what are your hobbies? And the anonymity um, thing is really crucial for yeah, this. Absolutely. Because, you know, if you're going to be yep. honest, you would want to. Not have That's people right. know who you are when you're and, saying these and, things. And not to um, have any, any false um, hopes, but um, we're not going to be able to detect through your blood work or your survey if you have cancer. 
right. we will not be able to determine right. that. That is up to you to continue your well, that's a very good annual point. screenings that's with a your very doctor. Good point to make, yeah. yeah, because there could be some confusion about mm -hmm. that. Yep. I, I can see yep. that. This is not a cancer detection, it's a cancer prevention study. Anything else we need to know about CPS3 that you really want to drive home before I talk to Joe a little bit more about mm -hmm. the components of the event itself? Um, that uh, I can't stress it enough that it's, it's prevention, it's about prevention, it's about hope. It's about giving back to survivors. It's only going to happen this one time in, in Wilmington, in that word of mouth is going to be the best advertisement for this to be successful. Um, so tell a friend, phone a friend, email a friend about it, um, and right. go onto the website and, and find out the information. And we're going to see you all over the community. You're going to be in the newspapers. Probably. You're here on Where's Wilmington. So we're going to see a lot of you, mm -hmm. a lot of your happy face. <laughs> <laughs> and what about uh, the three main components of the event in the last couple of minutes, Joe? Let's talk a little bit about that, and then let's give information where folks can get involved if they want to sponsor, or create a team, what have you. Tell okay. us a little bit about those three components. Yep, so we start off with the survivor ceremony. It's fitting. Uh, we bring all the survivors together. Uh, we present them. We have them sit up front so everybody can um, see who the survivors are involved and we have a speaker, a survivor speak to the entire audience about their experience and they talk about their personal experience with um, their battle with cancer. And at the beginning, after the stories told and the ceremonies um, finished, we then take all the survivors and we bring them onto the track and they lead the effort for the first lap. So yes. what we did last year is we had them walk halfway through, uh, they got through halfway through a lap and we had their caregivers waiting on the other side. Mm. I'm going to which, get tissues. Thanks a lot. Okay, and which then you is have fitting. the second yeah. piece, yeah. which is the, the luminaria ceremony. Which I think is going to be neat. That's it's really it's neat. it's it is. It's interesting. It's a lit up candles in little bags. That, it is. That you have it's, at sunset, and that represents what? The, the lights represent. Well, the the lights represent that. Um, the lights are representative of the people who have battled or passed on from cancer. Right. So, what we do in that ceremony is we take somebody who has lost someone or who is somebody battling from cancer and we have them speak and give their perspective okay. of what their experience has or is with um, cancer. And then the third component is the relay itself, right? Well, no, the third component is fight back. Um, we have a ceremony at the very end mm -hmm. and the fight back ceremony is about advocacy. What are you going to do today to prevent yourself from getting cancer? I'm going to start for Tom's study yeah, exactly. immediately. There you go. <laughs> Um, yep. That's excellent. Where can folks get more information if someone wants to be a sponsor or provide something at the event or sign up for a team or I know your study information is there too. How do we do that? Go into the website, WilmingtonRFL.com. It has everything you need on there. It has information for sponsors, what our different packages are, um, how they can give back, whether it be monetary or product and services. Uh, we, we heavily d are dependent on the businesses in Wilmington to make this a success and they came to us last year in an amazing manner. Our percentage was only 3% of our, ex our total funds raised went back to expenses Excellent. due to those businesses. Anything final either of you would like our viewership to know before we close today? Yeah, last year we in 2009 were named to the number one new relay, community relay in New England. And wow. that, yeah, it was an amazing, amazing accomplishment. We were only $5,000 shy of being number one in the nation. And historically, we have, we, we are number one historically in New England. So when they go back on the records, and that is only because we had the participation of everybody in this community. So we can be pretty proud of ourselves, but there's yes. more to do. Mm. There's more to do. There's more to do. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank Joe, you very much for your Tom, time. Thank you thank for you everything very much you're for your doing time. to help us. We really appreciate it. Who knows? The sky's the limit. It is. It'd be wonderful to take some of the cancers off the radar if we could do that, and this is one way to do that. I want to thank everybody for watching Where's Wilmington today. Get involved. Go to the website. Come down to the event, which is going to be June 18th and 19th, right here in Wilmington. Really, I can't see why you wouldn't. I'm going to come down and say hello. I'm going to put it on my calendar. You'll see these two gentlemen there. There'll be plenty of people there, so please make it a point. I'm urging you to do that. Just want to remind you that uh, you're watching Where's Wilmington, and the next time somebody asks you Where's Wilmington, you tell them right here and right here on WCTV. Thanks so much for watching.